uh, right now. So, so number one is <laughs> definitely, definitely, I underestimated the time of uh, uh, the time I needed to, uh, the, and the amount of knowledge that I needed to get in order to become consistently profitable. Uh, and so, the the top ten things I would have to say is the amount of time uh, it took me to pretty much uh, get things together. Um, I, I definitely underestimated the learning curve, and I under, underestimated how much money that I needed to lose to to get my things together. That, that, that was, so I definitely underestimated how much time and how much money I needed for this career. The learning, the learning curve is steep and the amount of money that you need to put into this career is very high. You have to look at the grand scheme of things, how you will be able to, you know, lose entire 2,000, 3,000, 5,000, 10,000, maybe a 20 or 30 or 40,000 account. And then you'll come back and be like, hey, maybe that guy was right. Maybe I should only focus on what's hot. I actually tried to do it by myself in the OTC market, which I succeeded, but way too late, way too late. Because right now the OTC market is just dead. So, I definitely underestimated like how much time and money it needed me to become successful and I thought that you know I thought that it will be easier after like a year or two I'll make 50 grand to 100 grand a year not even close not even close you're looking if you're barely if you're if you're a break even trader after 2 years consider yourself lucky um especially now since we had the biggest um biggest drop since history in the overall market uh, for the last uh, 10 months in 2000. All right, welcome to my stream.